गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन साई राम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स डिवीजन पार्ट थ्री नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू डिवाइड द सम्स ओके डिवाइड द फॉलोइंग ओके नाउ यर यू कैन सी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज थर्टी थ्री डिवाइड बाय फाइव ओके नाउ यू कैन सी द डिवाइड साइन राइट नाउ After seeing this question, you have to write the divides, uh, put the divide sign, and then do the sum. So, which is the dividend here? Thirty-three. That will come inside, right? Which is the divisor here? Five. So, five you will write out, and thirty-three will be inside. How I taught you in the previous class? We are going to take one one number. Okay. Now, thirty-three is two numbers, right? So, first we will take one number three, but Can you divide three by five? No, right? Because three is small and five is big. But you cannot take two numbers together, right? So what you are going to do first? You will place. You want to take smaller number than three. So what you will do? If you take five ones are five, five is bigger than three. So we want smaller number. So we will take five zero za zero. Zero is smaller than three. So what you will do? You will write zero up, right? And again you will write zero down. That is below three. And then you will put the sign of minus. It is five zero za zero. After putting the sign of minus, now you have to subtract. So you will put one line. You will do subtraction. Three minus zero is how much? Three. Okay, now you can bring the second number also down. Now you can take two numbers together, right? So you will put one arrow mark. You will bring three down, right? Now how much you got? Thirty-three. Now you have to say table of five. In table of five, when you get, uh, you will not get thirty-three, but you can take less number than thirty-three. Okay, which is near to thirty-three. So you have to say table of five. Now five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. Five sixes are thirty. And five sevens are is thirty-five. So you cannot take thirty-five. So which number you will take? What comes before thirty-five? Thirty. So you will take five sixes are thirty. Since thirty is less than thirty-three, so you will write six up. And down you will write thirty. That is below thirty-three. After writing thirty, you will put the sign of minus. Draw one line. Now you will start from units place. Three minus zero is how much? Three. And three minus three is how much? Zero. Right. So now you have to write what is quotient and what is remainder. So you will write quotient is how much? Six and remainder is three. Okay, so this is how you have to do the sum. Now let us do second sum. Here also you can see the question is forty one divided by eight. So you will write dividend inside, divisor out. Now again you will take one number first. But here four is small, eight is big. Can you divide it? No. So what you will do? You have to put first zero. You have to take smaller number. So you will take eight zero za zero. Okay. So you will write zero below four. Eight zero za zero. <coughs> Then you will put the sign of minus. Draw the line. Now you will do subtraction. Four minus zero. How much you will get? Yes, four. Now you can bring second number down. So what you will do? Put one arrow mark. Which is second number here? One. You will bring one down. Right now you got forty one. Now what you will do? You have to say table of eight because you want very near number to forty one. Okay. So you will say table of eight. Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are Sixteen, eight threes are 
24. 8 4 is a 32. And 8 5 is a 40. So you can take 40 because 40 is very near to 41. So what you will do? You will write up 5. And down what you will write? 40. That is 8 5 is a 40. Now you will put the sign of minus right now you will draw one line now you will do subtraction first so first you will take one one minus zero what you will get one minus zero one very good now four minus four is how much zero so this is the way how you have to do the sum so you got quotient is five and remainder is what one so, now you are going to write the answer. Okay. So, you will write quotient. How much is the quotient? 5. And remainder 1. Okay. So, this is how you will do the some step by step you have to do it. Okay, children. Now, let us do third sum. That is 51 divided by 7. Here also bigger number you will write inside. That is 51 is the dividend will come inside. And divisor that is 7 will come outside. Okay. Now here you have to take again one number. So first you will take 5. But 5 is small. 7 is big. You cannot divide 5 by 7. Right. So you have to take smaller number than 5. But in table of 7 which number will come smaller? You cannot take 7 ones are 7. So what you will do? You have to take 0. 7 zeros are 0. 0 is smaller than 5. So what you will do? You will write up 0. And down what will come? Yes. Below 5 you will write 0. 7 zeros are 0. Now you can subtract 5 minus 0. So you put the sign of minus draw one line 5 minus 0 is how much 5 okay now you can bring the next number so you'll put one arrow mark bring one down so what you get 51 now again you have to see which uh, see which number is smaller than 51 in table of 7 okay so you will say table of 7 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. 7 threes are 21. 7 fours are 28. 7 fives are 35. 7 six are 42. 7 sevens are 49. So 49 is very close to 51. So we will take 7 7 is 49. So what you will write up? 7. And down what will come? 49. Now you will do subtraction. So you will put the sign of minus. Draw one line. Now 1 minus 9. You cannot do 1 minus 9. Right? So you have to borrow from the next number. So what you will do? You will cut 5. And you will borrow from 5. So what will come there? 4. And you will take 1. Yes, borrowing 1 in the units place. So what will come there? Cut 1. And then what you will write there? 11. Now you can subtract. 11 minus 9. 11 minus 9 is how much children? 2. Now 4 minus 4 is how much? Zero. Very good. So, this is how you will do the sum. So, now what is the quotient here? Seven. And remainder is what? Yes, quotient is how much? Seven. And remainder is what? Two. So, this is your answer. Now, let us do next sum. That is 80 divided by 9. Here also 80 will come inside and divisor 9 will be out. Now again you can take one number. You have to take one number first. 8. 8 is small. 9 is big. Can you take 9 ones are 9? 
no right so what you will do you will take smaller number than 9 so what you will take 9 zero za 0 0 is smaller than 8 so you will write 0 up yes and below 8 also you will write 0 that is 9 zero za 0 then what you will do you will put the sign of minus draw the line 8 minus 0 8 okay then you will bring the next number down so you will put one arrow bring zero down now you got 80 right now again you will see which number is less than 80 in table of 9 so you have to say table of 9 9 ones are 9 9 twos are 18 9 threes are 27 9 fours are 36, 9 fives are 45, 9 six are 54, 9 sevens are 63, 9 eights are 72 and 9 nines are is 81. You cannot take 81 because it is bigger than 80. So what you are going to take, you will take 9 eights are 72. So you will write 8 up, 72 down. Very good. Now you will put the sign of minus draw the line now can you minus zero from uh, two from zero no right so what you will do you will go to next number you have to borrow from eight so you will cut eight you will take one from eight so what will left in its place now seven and then you will cut zero and what will come there ten right now you can subtract ten minus two is how much eight and 7 minus 7 is how much? 0. Okay. So, your quotient is also 8. And remainder is also 8. Quotient is 8. And remainder is also 8. So, this is your answer. Okay, children. Now, we will do fifth sum. That is 50 divided by 5. Now, here... 50 will come inside and 5 will come outside. Here also you are going to take one number. Now both the numbers are same. 5, 5. So here which number in table of 5 when you get 5? 5, 1's are 5. Right? 5, 1's are 5. So here what will come in quotient's place? 1. 5, 1's are 5. So you down you will write 5. Put the sign of minus. Then you will draw the line. 5 minus 5 is how much? 0. Right? Now still one zero is there. Next to 5. 50. Right? So what you will do? You have to bring that 0 also down. So you will draw an arrow mark. Bring 0 down. Now in table of 5 when you get 0. 5 zeros are 0. So, what you are going to do? You will put 0 up. Yes. And down also you will write 0. That is 5 zeros are 0. So, again you will do subtraction now. Put the sign of minus. Draw one line. Now, 0 minus 0 is how much? 0. Very good. So, what is the quotient here? 10. Very good. What is the remainder? 0. So, this is how you have to do the sum. Okay, children? Very good. Okay. Now, let us do next sum. That is last sum. 99 divided by 9. Here also, you will write 99 inside and 9 out. So, we will take 1, 1 number here. Okay? So, 9. In table of 9, when you get 9? 9, 1's nine, are 9, right? So, what you will write up? 1. And down what will come? 9, 1's are 9. Okay? Now, what you will do? You have to put the sign of minus. Draw one line. 9 minus 9 is how much? 0. Very good. Now, which is the next number here? 9. That also you have to bring it down, right? So, what you will do? 
you will put one arrow mark and then you will bring nine down so again you will say table of nine in table of nine when you get nine nine ones are nine right so again what you will do you will put one up and nine down and then you will put the sign of minus draw one line now nine minus nine is how much zero okay so this is your answer so what is the quotient here quotient is 11 and what is the remainder here remainder is zero very good so with this we have completed this chapter children okay thank you